This week, the impeachment inquiry will finally go public. It'll be the first time we hear in public from the key witnesses to what Democrats say is an abuse of power by the President of the United States. The public hearings are expected to last around two weeks, and then after Thanksgiving, the Judiciary Committee will start formally considering articles of impeachment. But you're going absolutely nowhere. Don't worry about it. So impeachments, by their nature, are a public airing of allegations against a president of the United States. And the public hearings are Democrats' best chance to make that case to the American people, bring them along, essentially, and to lay out that evidence clearly and concisely so that they can sort of drum up public support for what they're trying to do. The first witness we'll hear from is William Taylor. He's currently the top American diplomat in Ukraine. During the closed door testimony, he was the first witness to directly tie the president to a quid pro quo with Ukraine, involving not just the military aid that was withheld, but also a White House meeting between President Trump and President Zelensky. The second witness is George Kent. Kent is a Deputy Assistant Secretary of State. He testified to what he perceived to be the President's desire for politically motivated investigations against the Bidens and another one targeting uh, the DNC server from 2016. He said there were three words that the President wanted President Zelensky to say at a microphone. The first one was investigation, the second one was Biden, and the third one was Clinton. The committees will hear from Marie Yovanovitch, the former U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine. She was, of course, forced out by the President in May after she was perceived perceived to be disloyal to the president, Rudy Giuliani was key in helping to force her out. Marie Ivanovich told investigators that she felt personally threatened by the president when it was revealed that President Trump told President Zelensky of Ukraine during their July 25th call, suggesting that she's bad news and that things were going to happen to her. Democrats believe that they have ironclad evidence that there was a quid pro quo with regard to a withheld White House meeting between President Trump and President Zelensky. They're less certain on the idea that that military aid was withheld explicitly to push the Ukrainians to launch these politically motivated investigations into the Bidens. And one of the reasons why they're less certain is because the White House budget officials who could shed light on the military aid, namely why it was withheld and what were the internal machinations behind the decision to implement it and how it was implemented. In other words, the only people who could shed light on that are the people who have not shown up for testimony. If the House ends up impeaching Donald Trump, the Senate must, under its rules, hold a formal trial. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has already said that he has no choice but to hold a trial. Based on a Senate rule on impeachment. As of right now, it looks like the House is on track to impeach the president, but in terms of removing him from office, that is a much higher hurdle for them to clear. 